hello today i will discuss about uh, uh, the electronic filter now as uh, it is important for um, first year students now uh, for uh, for beginning let us start with by technology now technologically filter can be divided in various um, various way uh, which are analog or digital passive or active audio or radio frequency now uh, we know that analog filters are designed to process the analog signal and digital filters are uh, to process uh, the analog fi uh, digital filter by analog techniques okay now uh, now uh, if we come for passive uh, passive compounds which are um, uh, capacitor resistors inductors etc and active compounds as op amps um, uh, transistors such as now if we come uh, by topology uh, topologically it can be uh, topologically it can be uh, given by that uh, solid key coward uh, topology etc and uh, by output structure butterworth sebaceous and basal uh, basal now now RC filter are used for um, uh, audio frequency and uh, uh, LC frequency uh, LC uh, uh, filter used for radio frequency. Now since LC uh, LC uh, tank circuit has uh, more higher Q value, LC tank circuit has higher Q value. Okay, so um, that's why it is uh, more compatible, but uh, uh, it has um, very uh, high costly and uh, since uh, you know, uh, inductor has uh, magnetic effect so that's why uh, usually we use the um, RC filter as I said earlier by output structure Butterworth um, uh, it can be divided in many categories Butterworth filter, CVC filter, Bessel filter, elliptical filter etc but uh, since uh, the Butterworth filter has uh, the uh, flat of uh, flat pass band and uh, flat of um, stop band so that's why basically we use the Butterworth filter so I'll discuss more about Butterworth filter and something about CVC filter okay Butterworth filter have five categories which are as I'm write it here one is high pass filter two is band pass filter three is low pass filter four is band reject filter Ready pass and three is all pass filter. Okay, uh, it will be five, right? Not three. Okay, now I'm going towards uh, output structure. Equally, if I consider here, I have uh, first one is low pass for low pass filter output characteristics. It's for high pass filter output characteristics. It's for band pass filter output characteristics. It's for band reject filter output characteristics. And uh, here I have um, all pass filter output characteristics. Now you all know about uh, what is pass band, what is stop band. Now here I'm going to discuss about it. Uh, this part, um, write it in different color this part is called the pass band okay where the frequency uh, where the, we uh, 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 I, uh, at that frequency i can get gain and this one where the gain is rolls off is called a uh, um, stop band now here i have a low pass filter why this uh, characteristics now low pass filter what it means it passes the low uh, uh, it passes the voltage at low frequency okay and at high frequency it continuously rolls off now here you can see that at low frequency its uh, gain is high and uh, at, at a certain frequency it's called low frequency cut uh, high frequency cutoff fh from where it uh, rolls off okay now uh, pass band is uh, uh, 20 decibel per decade for fast order 
and for second order we have 40 decibel per decade the rules of I'm saying uh, 40 decibel per decade and for um, the third order we can have uh, for six, uh, 60 decibel per decade and so on okay now I'm going toward high, my high pass filter output characteristics here you can see that uh, the uh, high frequency pass uh, at high frequency it passes uh, the, the gain is high and uh, at low frequency it continuously rolls off and at a certain point this point is called FH FL which is low frequency cutoff okay now for high uh, for for high uh, for high pass filter what we have uh, got uh, we have got FL which is low frequency cutoff and for low frequency I have high frequency cutoff FH now coming towards my bandpass filter bandpass filter what is bandpass filter bandpass filter is uh, 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 passes a certain uh, certain frequency and blocks all other frequencies certain bands of frequencies and passes uh, and blocks all other frequencies I have uh, the I have to make a bandpass filter for making a bandpass filter I have to uh, making a series connection between high pass filter and low pass filter so I have two frequency range one is uh, a fill which is low frequency cutoff for it's for high pass filter and it is if H it is for low pass filter okay now why i am uh, why i'm not um, uh, if uh, writing fl and fh uh, from peak point since by calculations i have uh, a three decibel gap here um, when i'll make a different video for calculation i will uh, show you how to uh, make uh, it uh, how, how this three decibel occurs okay now so just remember that uh, these gaps is 3 decibel okay it's conventional and it's come from by calculation now this part is fl and fh and this fixed point is called if not this uh, here the, here the high i will get a high gain now come to my uh, band reject filter this is my band reject filter okay you can see that uh, it uh, rejects only band portion and passes uh, other than the band portion and here uh, again I will get my FL and I will get my FH here FH for low pass filter and FL for high pass filter as always now come to my uh, come to the point of my all pass filter the name makes sense that all pass filter passes all types of frequency the only difference uh, is uh, the only problem is uh, its out output is uh, lag by some phases from its input now these those are uh, two circuit one is for a band pass a uh, past order band pass filter circuit and second order band reject filter circuit this one is conventionally called the Selenki of uh, topologies uh, this one and this one too now now firstly I am coming to a uh, fast order bandpass filter okay now fast order bandpass filter contains high pass filter and low pass filter how I am saying that this one is high pass filter now if you uh, and you know that capacitor is only passes AC voltage and blocks DC voltage okay and resistor is only passes uh, uh, DC voltage and blocks AC voltage so that's why you can see that uh, all AC uh, go through this way and all DC go through this way so that's why this one called the high pass filter only high frequency going high frequency voltage going this way so this is my output what I have written here P output and is series connect uh, connection this output with a low pass input this is a low pass input I can say and here I have that uh, forget about this part here I have uh, 
resistors uh, in C, uh, resistor here and capacitor here all my DC goes to this way and AC goes to this way so that's why this is a low pass filter since low frequency uh, since DC voltage are acting this region so that's why my um, uh, a low it's a low pass filter now comes to the points of band pass filter do you remember what I have said earlier what is uh, uh, where is low frequency cutoff act it's a high pass filter and for low pass filter high frequency cutoff will act now if I plot it graphically I have here my uh, I, I firstly write uh, uh, drawn uh, the high frequency high frequency high pass for high pass filter now for high pass filter my characteristics will be like this this is my low frequency cut off, low frequency cut off fl and for my low pass filter i have this okay it's a high frequency cut off and ultimately i have got what i have got this is a band pass filter which uh, you can see that it passes the bands and band region the voltage is high okay at the band region the voltage is high you can see it and why this is called i have said butterworth filter this is the flat pass band so that's why it's called the butterworth filter characteristics now here i have my band reject circuit okay now for band reject circuit i have a second order band uh, band reject circuit i have second order high pass filter and second order low pass filter the similar definitions act uh, here too and here too that uh, its ac go through this way and uh, dc go through this way and here its ac go through this way uh, dc go through this way and ac go through this way what i have seen here my um, uh, high pass output will uh, be my low pass input but here these two input are similar okay and uh, this output and this output will go uh, i will add by add a circuit uh, here i will add them um, and uh, my uh, my band reject output i will get here okay i will get here a band my band reject output and uh, you can see that here, here all my uh, inputs are in uh, non-inverting terminal here here but here is a in is invert, uh, inverting terminal so that's why if i get a band pass so, uh, here i will get a band pass output since uh, here series connection so band pass output and it will invert it by band reject output okay now cvc1 has a pass uh, has a ripple uh, uh, in its uh, pass band and cvc2 has a ripple in its stop band and uh, that's why uh, it is different uh, for the butterworth filter which have uh, a flat shape uh, pass band and uh, stop bands but cvc1 has a ripple in its uh, pa uh, pass band and uh, cvc2 has a ripple in its stop band okay sometimes it's called uh, elliptical filter um, um, that's uh, because it's it's only it's ripple are kind of elliptical type so that's why it's called elliptical filter okay i have discussed about uh, the basic uh, of uh, filter for exam purpose that um, filter um, how the butterworth filter basically butterworth filter are important for exam purpose so now uh, i will um, i will discuss more uh, mathematically by my next video so don't forget to subscribe